My name is Shreyas Sen. I am an Elmore Associate Professor at ECE Purdue University. So over the last two decades, more and more technology is getting crammed into the smartphone in our hands. And this is great because it is our gateway from the physical world to the fascinating digital world. But the interaction with the smartphone is typically very low bandwidth, especially when we try to input something to the smartphone. Today, the input to the smartphone is through our touch on a touch screen. In future, it will be our natural gestures and touches. It will be our voice, our biopartisan signals like EMG, ECG, uh, ECOG, and eventually our thought would be controlling the computers. So the technology we are developing lets us collect all of these seamlessly and let the computer be controlled through them. So radio communication was invented centuries back to communicate in air or in vacuum. It's not the most optimal to communicate around the human body, which is mostly water. What we are developing is a fundamental new communication method that gives you high speed connectivity around the body, creating an artificial nervous system, which then lets you collect data from sensors and actuators from everywhere around the body and process it one central hub which we call the wearable brain. And this wearable brain interacts with the human brain in a much faster and seamless way, augmenting the human with real-time AI. You have heard about Bluetooth, you have heard about Wi-Fi. These are radio communication techniques that take your data and radiate all around. YR is a fundamentally new communication method that instead confines the signal around your body and utilizes that bubble to send high-speed data at 100x lower energy compared to Bluetooth or Wi-Fi while making it more secure. Because the technology is so transformative, the, all the applications cannot be fully imagined yet. Think of Wi-Fi in the early uh, late 90s when it was being developed. People were thinking of connecting their laptop to the router. Did they really think that you will be controlling your thermostat and a smart toaster using Wi-Fi. Today we have 20 to 30 devices per home using Wi-Fi. Every time there is a new communication technology, it leads to a plethora of new computing devices. And the technologies we are inventing both around the body and the brain creates a new layer of network in this last meter around the body. And hence, a slew of new devices and use cases will emerge. So we are going to show you a demo on music being transferred through the human body and through copper wire to a speaker kept on the table. This is a standard Android phone with a USB-C connector that has the body communication chip inside there. And you don't see anything playing right now. As soon as I touch, you start to hear music, which means the music was not flowing through the airwaves like Bluetooth, but instead through my body. And you can see even if I keep my hand up, it does not work. But as soon as I touch, it works, showing that the signals are secured in a bubble around me and is getting passed through any other conductor. Not only this works with one person, we can show the demo with David coming inside now the music is flowing from this phone through my body, through David's body, through the conductor, to the speaker kept on the table. And if we let our hands go, the signal doesn't flow anymore, showing that there is no switch over there. It's the, literally the digital signals flowing through our bodies to the speaker.